I'm filming in a blanket. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, full disclosure before we even get into this video, I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I am sick. I've been sick for four days now, five days now. Yeah, I apologize. I am filming this video at the last possible second. I had another video lined up that I had filmed forever ago and I was like, okay, so I'll just do the voiceover this week and then have it ready. And then I got sick and I mean, this is the best my voice has been. So I'm like, there's no way I'm going to try to do a voiceover video when I sound this crappy. So instead, you guys just get me. <laughs> Let me tell you real quick how this whole thing came about, right? Now, if you've been following me for a little while, you know that I love affinity, okay? But I also am a photographer in my daily life. Um, so I do have Photoshop. I have a very extensive background in Photoshop, but, um, but the Photoshop app that they came up with for the iPad sucks. Now, maybe it's because it's, 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 it's first incarnation. I'm sure it is, but the smart object feature is not there. The script feature is not there, which when I'm creating digital stickers, these are all things that I use. So it's like, okay, well, I can't use it for that. So screw it. But then this morning I wake up and I get this email that says, hey, yo, Jenna, this is Adobe. Just a heads up, your plan's going to renew next month in February. And we're jacking up your price 10 bucks a month. I was like, bitch. <sighs> I mean, I can't ditch it because of my photography, you know, my photography gig. But I needed an alternative and I dug around this morning until I found one. We're going to go into Affinity and I'm going to show you how you can create multiple stickers in Affinity, very similar to how I do it in Photoshop. So the first thing you're going to have to do is obviously create your artwork. Um, I do mine in Procreate and that's not new. I have always done my, my stickers, my Davies, my Sassy Frogs, all in Procreate. So you want to export them as PNG files so that they'll be in your camera roll. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Affinity. Now, before you get too far into this process, make sure that the document that you're using to import all of your images to is of a good size. You don't want to bring in all of your images from Procreate, have them be gigantic. So you shrink them all down to create your stickers. And then when you bring them into say GoodNotes or Metamoji, they're all pixelated because your Affinity canvas was too small. So I created my Affinity Canvas the same size as my Photoshop Canvas. I didn't do it the same size as pro my Procreate Canvas, which I could do, I just didn't. So deal with it. So, okay, you're gonna open up Affinity, open up your document. It should just be just like this, plain. Um, you can go to your uh, little paper thing here, Canvas. Make sure Transparent Canvas is turned on because you don't want this background that you see here to show up in your photos. You want to have the PNG clear image background photos. So now I'm going to swipe up from the bottom of my screen. You're going to swipe up from the bottom, grab your photos here and drag it over. Affinity's not going to split screen this, but that's okay because now I can still go up here. Oh, sneak peeks up in this bitch. I'm going to have to edit that out and drag and drop just like this. All right, so I've got three photos dragged and dropped, and then I'm just going to swipe this photos app away. So now you see I have the three photos here. If you go to your layers panel, you'll see them. What the problem is, is obviously they're too big for the canvas, number one, and number two, they're not aligned. So to select more than one layer in affinity, you touch on the left or sorry, you touch on the right and you swipe left just like this. I'm going to actually, because this is going to be a screen capture, I'm going to show you physically how to do this. Okay. You touch and you pull. See, touch, oops, I missed. Touch and pull. And that's how you select multiple layers. So I'm going to select all those layers and then I'm going to come over here to the transform tab down here to alignment options up here. I'm going to align horizontally and then I'm going to align vertically. Now that puts all the images in the same alignment centered. So then I'm going to go and grab this, um, 
resizer and just fit them into this box. And you can tap this uh, control or transform thing to make it go away. So just kind of center it here and then hit this hand to turn off the moving tool. And now make sure you have all your layers selected. I'm going to go to my FX panel, styles, and I already did a video on how to do this um, as far as creating style overlays for stickers. I'll link that down below, but I'm just going to tap on my Davy stickers outline. Go ahead and close that. So now you can see, let me zoom in a little bit, they all have an outline on them with the shadow that gives it the 3D sticker look. So now I'm going to go to this panel here. This is your uh, export panel. You're going to go top here is slices and then down here is layers. You want to go to your layers, make sure these are all selected. Again, if they're not, just do that little swipe to the left and that'll select them all. And then you want to create slice. Now you see it created these little boxes, which you can then pull in so that it matches the square. Um, you can pull them in smaller, tighter, and you can adjust them into individually by just tapping on one. But um, when I created my stickers, I created them all in the square, so I'm cool with it being this way. So then I'm gonna go to slice, which is the uh, little cutting knife thing. Make sure where it says page background, make sure that's off because that's all your images stacked in one and you don't want that. But then turn on these three and then I'm gonna hit export all and it's gonna say, where do you wanna put these? I'm gonna put them on my cloud drive, so I'm gonna hit done. And now you would think that it would export right now, but it's not. You've told it where to put it. Now you have to hit export all again and it has exported them to that folder. That's it. So now I'm gonna go into GoodNotes. Yep, that's going live today, so that's cool. And then I can go to, here, I'll just go here, to my photo tool, tap, insert from. Remember, I put them on my cloud drive. So if I scroll down here, there they are. And then I can crop it from here and boom. So that's it. Now, let me do a little bit of explaining here. Um, is this a perfect solution to the auto trim features and things like that that Photoshop has? No, it isn't. However, it's getting a lot closer. Um, you can, like I, I touched on, but I didn't really show, you can do the, um, the slice box for each individual image just by turning off the others so you can see better what you're doing. And if I was doing this for like sale, I would absolutely do that. But this is just a demonstration. I'm not really worried about it. Um, so you can do that. Another thing, the actual export process, once you have them all trimmed and you're ready to export them, doing it here is faster than doing it in Photoshop. Photoshop, it takes a while. It's got to generate each each thing, blah, blah, blah. This one, it just, you tell it to go and it's gone and they're already uploaded. So I, when Adobe pissed me off this morning, I was like, okay, I got to find the alternative. Not that I plan to ditch Adobe, but if I'm being totally honest, this was kind of a long time coming for me. A, I have a really good friend who doesn't have Photoshop, does have a sticker shop, and she's like, what, you know, what's, we're trying to figure out the best way to streamline this for everybody. And so I was like, okay, this is even better. So I can show this video to her. Hi, you know who you are. Um, I can show this video to her and be like, hey, yo, look, check this out. This is an easy way to do it. So that was number one. And then number two is basically if I'm out, if I'm on the go, I can do stickers wherever now. Um, granted, I could before, but I was doing them one at a time. You know, I didn't realize that you could um, that you could bring in more than one photo for one. Everything I looked up was like, no, you can't do it. You have to do it one at a time. But then iPad came out with the um, split screen, which isn't fully functional here, but it probably will get there and it does work. So now that it does that, you can drag and drop and import multiple layers, which is like, pfft, when my sticker kits are like 30 stickers, it's like, I'm not gonna do that one at a time on my iPad, that's stupid. But now that I can pull them all in and just be like, okay, yo, slice export, yeah, why wouldn't I do that way? That's so easy. I don't have to go to my computer. I don't have to transfer stuff to the um, 
to the airdrop and then take it over here and edit it here and then transfer it back to make the good notes file and then transfer it back over here. I don't have to do that. So that's really sweet. And I think going forward, this is probably going to be the route that I'm going to take. All right. So I hope that this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, you know, just leave it down below and holy sassy frog. We are so close to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, uh, so I remember like earlier this year, not that long ago, getting a DM from Mandy saying, Hey, I'm your 100 subscriber. And I was like, a oh, hundred subscribers. How do a hundred people give two craps what I have to say? And now it's like almost a thousand people. What? What? Y'all are crazy. <laughs> I'm sick. So yeah. <laughs> wow. That's so cool. Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Ah, a thousand subscribers. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. I've had my moment. Okay. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go get some more clean eggs and take a nap. This sucks. <laughs> but all right. I'm rambling at this point. I'm so sick. <laughs>